Some believe minority and majority influence works in the same way, while others believe them to work in different ways. Let's have a look at some of them now. According to Moscovici's conversion theory, it is the consistency displayed by the minority group which shows commitment, and these factors are what make it possible to influence the majority. Moscovici posits that through the process of majority influence, people examine the behaviour of others in a comparative way to their own and adjust accordingly to fit in. This is with little to no consideration of the majority's views in detail. Compliance is the key, yet this compliance doesn't always lead to a change in the individual's private feelings, internalisation, only their behaviour. Whereas, according to Moscovici, when a minority is consistent, people may examine the beliefs of the group in the hopes of understanding how and why the minority holds the perspective which it does. Through this understanding, people may be led to privately accept or internalize the beliefs of the minority view, thus converting to the minority position. Social pressure, however, may mean that the individual's behavior does not initially change as the need to conform is stronger. Social impact theory. According to Latane and Wolf's Social Impact Theory 1981, minority influence occurs in the same way that majority influence occurs, yet it is dependent upon the balance of three factors which create the social influence. Influence only occurs when the following bind three factors reach a high enough level of significance. Strength, being how powerful, knowledgeable and consistent the group appear to be. Numbers, how many people are in the group. And immediacy how close the source of influence is to the individual. Now this can be physically or in terms of a relationship. 